Welcome back to Bullshit Creepypasta Storytime, where this month, the scariest thing is my very odd, consistent upload schedule. It's terrifying, I know. Uh, and continuing with that fortunate question mark trend is another video. Uh, now, it occurred to me... By the way, Halloween might be spilling over in, in November because uh, I got too much, many ideas. But anyways, it occurred to me uh, I hadn't done too many story times uh, between, you know, last year and like just recently with Yellow Devil and of course uh, the two videos I've uploaded this month for Spooky Finger Puppet Ghost Month. And uh, I figured I would do a video taking a look at some, uh, I don't want to call them classics, but, you know, they're, I would say they're important, uh, things that are related to Gravy Pasta. Uh, shorter stories that, uh, wouldn't really make for a good video on their own, but when combined together, maybe it'll be spooky. So, today on Bullshit Creepypasta Storytime, I'm gonna tell you the tale of Buried Alive Model and White Hands Sprite and also Ghost Animation. And to start things off, we have Buried Alive Model. The Buried Alive model, Dash, often referred to as its code, the Berry Man script, was to be found on the final story of the Pokemon Tower. I would have re referred to it as a floor, because this is a story, and so that would mean that's a story within a story, and that's too meta for me, I don't know. No. Uh, but in what has now been replaced with the Marowak Ghost, according to the scripts assigned to it, the Buried Alive model was intended to be the quote-unquote boss of the tower. Once reaching the top floor, the following conversation would have taken place. Uh, Buried Alive says, You're dot 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 here and then uh, from here on it's not they're not referred to as buried alive they're referred to as uh, BA uh, otherwise known as Ba so uh, I will refer to them as such and then Ba said I'm trapped and then Ba said and I'm lonely and then Ba said so very lonely and then Ba said won't you join me after this, the battle would have been initiated. Once in, quote-unquote, battle view, which I don't know if... Once in, quote-unquote, a battle... Uh, that's how I was it. The Buried Alive model appears to be a decaying human corpse attempting to crawl out of the ground. Uh, it has been programmed to have two white hands, a Gengar, and a Muck. What kind of graphics card does the Game Boy have? God damn. I, that's, it's, it's very impressive stuff. Uh, but strangely enough, a protocol for the Buried Alive's actions after it was defeated were not written. In the case of the player defeating him, the game would freeze. Oh. However, a specific ending was written by an unknown programmer, who's probably my uncle, who's to say? Uh, they do work at Nintendo. Though. Upon <laughs> losing the battle and this ending, the Buried Alive was to have stated, The Buried Alive? Uh, finally, fresh meat! Did they ever say the word meat in Pokemon? 
followed by several lines of gibberish. He was to have them drag the player character into the ground surrounding him. The scene would finish with a typical game over screen. There are no game over screen in the Pokemon. Uh, or I guess in this there would be. Uh, however, in the background, an image of the buried alive character devouring the player was to have been shown. As to why, who, I don't know. Kids are gonna love this. Especially strange are the protocols, though, for after this scene. Oh, well, it can't. It's it's already horrifying. Oh, but wait, there's more. The cartridge was to download this image to the small internal memory, hold on, contained in the Game Boy, overwriting the title screen that normally accompanied a Game Boy turning on. No. Instead, comma, Whenever it started, comma, the player would view this image as the sound file static mesh dot wave. It's my favorite band was played. Uh, the intended purpose for this effect, unlike many of the other factors uh, leading towards Lavender Town Syndrome, is unknown. And then it, it, it ends. So, what? I mean, it's 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 a cool concept. Uh, I like you know the model. Um, this is one of those things where when it comes to actual creepy pastas, I don't know if any of you have noticed. Um, I don't really take them very seriously because how the fuck can you? Um, because, the you know, a lot of them aren't well-written and they're not particularly interesting. But, uh, this is an interesting concept. You know, old Ba here showing up. Uh, it, oh, you know, it, granted, it's incredibly unrealistic. Because, especially for 90s Nintendo. Maybe now we could get a horror game. A horror Pokemon game out of them, but yeah. I gotta wait, see how uh, that Legends game does, or whatever it's called. But speaking of whatever it's called, next up, we have, oh, dip, it's another story. Called White Hand Sprite. That's my least favorite flavor of Sprite. It's known as the Wit Hand Dot. Yeah. This was scripted to appear as a Pokemon on the third floor. Oh, you mean the 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 third story of the Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town? Oh wow, another Lavender Town story. <laughs> Diverse. It's divided into four separate animations: an introduction, the Pokemon cry, an idol and two attacks. These attacks are unknown. But you wrote the story! That's as, as they are listed as Fist and Brutal. The name of my new hardcore band is Brutal Fist. Fist, it's Fist Brutal. Get Fist Brutal! The animation is proven to be hazardous. <laughs> no. We had experts look at this animation. And the animation is proven to be hazardous. Toxic waste. Coming out of your Game Boy. Uh, while viewing the frames of the model has no adverse effects. It's hazardous. Uh, the white hand is a shriveled, decaying hand with attention to detail. Okay. Uh, flesh is peeled back from the bone. All right. Uh, tendons dangle realistically from 
the wrist. Okay. Uh, for the first attack, the hand balls into a fist and swings forward. Um, I thought you said these attacks are unknown. Uh, the brutal animation is missing several frames and also is unknown, by the way. Uh, as the hand seems to open up, then cuts out. After a few seconds, it reappears, closed again. No record has been found of these missing frames. I'm not making all this up. <laughs> Sorry. This... Again, I like I like the I like the sprite. This one's a little little more. Uh, uh, this this is totally real. This, this is not fake. I swear to God. But to top all this off, when 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 you thought things just couldn't get scary enough, we have ghost animation. Not the best title. The ghost animation. Coded! <laughs> We're dealing with a lot of codes. Haunt... I'm sorry. Haunting dot... S... Uh, sorry. SWF. I'm terrified. And letters scare me. Was intended... All these files scare me. It was intended to be placed in several areas throughout the tower, including in the center of the bath on the second floor. And above that is the third story. It's been referred to as three different ways, I think. Um, or at least two. However, players cannot interact with it, leaving many to believe that it was intended as a background feature. You know, like grass or humans. The ghost animation, as well, must be viewed in individual frames. It is compromised of 59 frames total. However, after, are you sure? However, after extraction, around half of these frames have been revealed to be the standard ghost model used in Pocket Monsters. What's that? Around a quarter of the remaining frames are comprised of static to produce a fading effect. However, comma, interspersed with these bursts of static are several frames of screaming faces along with the images of skeletal man in a cloak. <laughs> and in parentheses, Hypnotized to be the Grim Reaper! Oh, the Game Boy is the most powerful handheld console ever! I had no idea! I was... I've been playing the wrong games. I sh need to play the haunted versions of Pokemon, evidently. Uh, but yeah, it's supposed to be the Grim Reaper. I believe you. You're telling the truth. A and of several corpses. Huh. Uh, the meaning behind these are unknown. Someone is a douche. While under oath before the the Video Games Commission Board, which may be a real thing, but I still kind of want to laugh at that name. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, lead programmer Hisashi Sogo Sogabe. Sorry. It's 3 a.m. Uh, testified as to having no knowledge as to where these images surfaced. Sure. Hisashi Sogabe. I believe you. Uh, but out of all the phenomenon associated with LTS. Oh, Lavender Town Syndrome. I was, I was thinking, oh, is that another band? Uh, this animation is the most speculated on. Is it? You're no buried alive model. No offense. You're a ghost. Uh, 
or, or well, uh, no, I, I guess I could see that. But still, you're no buried alive model. It is Stasis video games and the manipulation of the human mind. Dr. Jackson Turner. Tammy Turner grew up. Uh, Dr. Jackson Turner argued that the images were intentionally placed in. No, they were accidentally placed. Well, I mean, I accidentally put all these horrific images and stuff in the video game. Whoops. But uh, due to their brief time appearing on the screen and the graphic nature of the frames, Turner theorizes that these were meant to sublimably... <laughs> and thus, Yuri Evwin's speech issues come into play. So... Blimmin... Fuck you, words, and your pronunciations. How dare you? Secret mind tricks. That's a better term for it. Uh, to influence players into becoming more frightened by the disturbing surroundings. And then it ends. So, um... Yeah. Uh, so, so the, those were uh, three um, s significant things in Pokemon Creepypasta. I, I, I don't, I don't know if the, the stories are necessarily good or, or great, uh, but you know they, they were probably written a long time ago. I don't actually know. <laughs> so, um, so in that regard, you know. It's good stuff. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people, and by I'm sure, I mean I know a lot of people have taken inspiration from those. So I keep hitting this. Why? But this has been bullshit creepypasta story time. And welcome to Enslate. Hello everyone and welcome back to Enslate, where I hope you enjoyed the Pokemon video. I feel like it's been a while since I've been a since I've been a Pokemon video. It's been a minute since I've been a Pokemon video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please or subscribe or hit that stupid bell notification. Let's let's show YouTube that even though you know they're pretty sure no one likes my channel, that I I think a couple people do maybe. I hope. Maybe. Still, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. Also, uh, next week will be the Halloween video. And, you know, nothing says Halloween like a brand new segment. Am I right? Uh, so, so, I don't know. Social media stuff. Uh, Patreon. and uh, I have a YouTube. Uh, a Twitch and a Twitter and a Facebook. And, um... I don't feel particularly well. Yeah, I. Sorry, I, I don't got much. I I I don't feel well today. But uh, also this video was kind of last minute. I canceled the follow-up story and did this instead because it both seemed like a better idea and because the fallout audio was garbage. I left a fan on. Uh, thank you all for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time on Halloween. And see you next time on Enslaved.